Hello everybody, my name is Alan, I'm from Sauber Lab and today will be another video about Open Media Val. Exactly. This video will be what change and what you need to do with the new Open Media Val. The same thing that it's going on with this room. The room starts to be a little bit blue, it's not grey anymore. The furniture starts to change, not the sofa, only that one, the bookshelf. Also, the door will be painted. This is that it's full of masking tape. But don't worry, soon you're gonna see it finish. In the next videos, I will be uh, with the old room and that will be the new one. You're gonna be a little bit confused because this video, it's everything uh, different and that I will go for my previous color of wall and that I will change. This because I have recorded some of my videos and that I was finished with it, but I think that this one is quite important. Why it's quite important? The Open Media Val, it's now official 6.0. Remember, the last days that you're gonna have update from the revision 5 will be 3rd of June 2022. After this one, you don't have more revision updates, so your system could be a little bit insecure. So in this video, I will show a little bit what you need to do if you want to do an update and what's the issue that you could have if you do only the update against of the freshing style. So, if you like this idea and want to learn a little bit more about it, we're gonna show in this video. But first of all, don't forget to leave your like, consider to subscribe for the channel, and let's see how we can do it. Before we start to show how you can update Open Media Val 5 to 6 and do any extra configuration, please don't forget to backup your system. Try to backup your US. If you don't know how to do it, get your US your hard drive for US out. Use Win32 or any program that you can backup and make a copy for your system. Also, your data it's good for you to do a backup or at least disconnect for your NAS in order that if you have any issue, you don't lose all your data. Because have a chance that you have some issue and that you're gonna lose your data and no one wants to do it. Also, you can lose all your configuration and if you have any backup, you can only recover it and you don't lose everything. Second thing, in this video, we'll show how you can update from Open Media Val 5 to Open Media Val 6, but if you have the option and you don't worry about it, I suggest you to do a fresh installation because all your previous configuration or everything that's already there and have some issues about it, will carry out for Open Media Val 6 and if you can avoid it, will be the best option. So have everything understand, now we can go for our computer and start to do our configuration. So let's go. So first thing that we're gonna do, we're gonna open the website for Open Media Val and here we're gonna have a look. Uh, I will not explain what is Open Media Val because the name is right, say NAS or it means Network Attached Storage and this system works in Debian Linux and it's good because it's light you don't need to have really strong hardware, work with FTP, work with Samba and other things that you can just configure and work. Other plus, work really well with Docker. So if you like some Docker application, Open in Java will be one of the best options and really lightweight if you don't want to invest so much in a really good hardware for it. Here, if you come here in download, now it's a red official, it's released a stable version as a 6.0. And remember, the revision 5.0 will no longer be updated after 3rd of uh, June 2022. So if you have the Open Media Val 5, I suggest you migrate. You can have the upgrade or you can have a fresh install. In my opinion, I suggest you to do a fresh install, but if you don't want to reconfigure everything, it's easy only to upgrade your system. So have everything in mind. First thing, we come here in stable, only to prove that's revision six. And if you go to download this version, it will be 6.24. And if I come here, the last update was 1st of June, 2022. So has been updated a few days ago from the day that I'm recording. I think that I will post this Friday or the next Friday, it doesn't matter, but I will try to do the best that I can to post much earlier than 3rd of June. Other thing, if I close here, now I can do the installation and I can do all the configuration using this stable version. Or if I want to go for old ones, look like 5, 4 and continue on, I can go for old stable. If I look here, nothing else shows for me. 
What is interesting, I was looking online and I find this website. Release of Open Media Ball 6 and they say after long development phase, I'm happy to announce that release Open Media Ball 6. And they say all the new features, what it's going on, how it's work, what it's going better, what's going worse, what we can do and what you cannot do. So have everything in mind, now we're gonna say, Alan, I read have OpenMediaVal installed my system and I would like to upgrade it. I want to move for OpenMediaVal 5 to 6 and I don't want to do any extra configuration. And here is the correct page. I will leave the link in the description for you to read it, but um, you can only run this OpenMediaVal release upgrade. But wait, before you do it, have two big warnings right here. And this warning is exactly for you warning because you can lose all your data. First thing they say, upgrade from OpenMediaVal 5 might cause some problem in the system that you're using USB hardware based in JMicron. And this JMicron is most of the cheap USB external adapters. A few of those that run with uh, 2.5 or 3.5 hard drives and you need to take care because if this one, it's uh, this kind of adapter, they will have issues. And if I come here, they explain a little bit of what kind of issue that you're gonna have. You can have a crash, you can have all your data destroyed and everything. What they suggest, you do unmount, you remove all your data here, and that uh, you upgrade and do a mount again. Let's go here, they have more information in this page, what uh, they explain what kind of issues and everything, all your data in risk for do it. So I come here and now I can run my upgrade. Of course, you're going to have some problems, or maybe not. If you have any problem, here it's some troubleshootings that you can look. And here you have how to clean your browser or cache. If your interface is not working or you don't have access for your system, your user, you need to run it and continue on all these steps. Remember that I told you, you need to unmount for this one, so please take care, otherwise you're going to lose your data. Have everything in mind. We come here and that we're going to try to upgrade our system to see what is going on. To upgrade, I could potentially go in my machine and upgrade it, but uh, because it's easy, I can run as a virtual machine. I come here and I have my virtual box open and I have a open Javal Cyber Lab. So I can run this uh, virtual machine and see what revision that it's carrying in or what is working. If I put this on the page here, I can put enter can extend my page and we're gonna see what IP address to try to log in it. So let's wait some seconds. Okay, my machine just started. I know that IP address will be 192.168.1.227. So let's open this IP address and see what I have. Once that open here, I read appear the web page for the Open Media Vault 5. So let's put admin and put my password. Open Media Vault. In this case, I didn't change the standard password, so I will gonna have open media vault and login it. I log in, I have a revision five, so I run it with 5.10 and I don't have any upgrades. I really suggest you to install all the required upgrades. So if I come here and I check the upgrades, if I have any upgrade that you need to install, I suggest you to install before do any upgrade of your system. Otherwise, you're gonna have um, some problem or can have some problems. In my case, I don't have any upgrade that required, so I can come back here, I can install. In my case, I'm using directly the virtual box because I don't want to access with SSH, but yes, you can use it and it will work in the same way. So first thing, we're gonna log in in our root account. So we'll put root, I put my password. So in my case, I will put OMV, release, upgrade, and I put enter. If you write it correctly, they will show this page. Do you really want to upgrade your system to release version 6.0? Please ensure that all your installed plugins are available to this revision. So if you have uh, some plugins that you don't have in the next revision, please uninstall it or you're gonna have some problems. Once that everything is available and you are happy with it, you can put enter and that they will start to download all the packaging will start to install everything and everything will depend how fast your computer, how much you run that you have, what kind of CPU that you have, and in this way you can run it. So it will take around five, 10 minutes until they finish to install. So 
let's wait. Okay, you're gonna know that everything is installed properly when appear this page. Appear some errors, but don't worry about it. Only if it's not working, then you need to worry. But then it's everything done, appear as a done. We can come here in our page again, and that refresh this page. So now right up here, as an open image of all six, I can come in user, put exactly the same password. So I can put exactly the same password, open image of all, and put login. And I put login. Check, they didn't look in. So now we're gonna go for the troubleshooting and see what's going on. So if your password is correctly, then most likely that root partition, it's been full. This command can help to track this one. So we can step this one and see what's going on. So if I put here, they say that my user is quite free, but I cannot access it. Remember that I told that have always the risk that's not working. Yes, is the problem. So let's... Uh, recover our backup. So now I open again my virtual machine, do exactly the same step. I update my system, I get everything working right, the same way that I want and I did it previously. Also now I open my virtual box and then I will start to choose login as a root. Once that login as a root, I put my password and now I have my open media file open in the same way that I have before. Now I'm gonna run exactly the same step that I run before. So the step that I'm gonna do is OMV, release, upgrade. And that I'm gonna put enter, they appear exactly the same page, and then I will put yes. And now they started to do all the same upgrade exactly the same way that it was before. In this way, they will take more 5-10 minutes, exactly the same way that we did before. We didn't change anything, we use exactly the same image, we use exactly the same system, and that's uh, on the IP address was different, and that's, uh, let's wait and see what's gonna happen. So, they just finished it to install, appear exactly the same messenger, it's done. You can uh, depreciate some uh, programs, you can run some way, and now we can go back in our open media valve and refresh our page in order to see what is going on. So now we can open our page that was open media valve 5, we refresh it and it's already open media valve 6. Now I do the looking as admin and I put exactly the same password as before, open media valve, that's only fix it. And then I put exactly the same password as before, open media valve and I put login. And this time, just work. I don't know why, just work. Exactly, I try to make a different trials, I try to do different ways and they just work. Let's apply all this configuration. And that's, uh, I will say, this reason that's better you to do a backup. Let's get uh, set up here the page. Let's run all the configuration our page. Here I want all of those, I put save and I really don't know what is going on. They just work for any magic, they just work. So guys, I hope that you liked this video. As I told, uh, it's better to do backup in your system and also sometimes this configuration work really well and sometimes don't work. So have a 50-50. This is that the backup and the same uh, virtual machine with the same clone configuration, they have uh, different effects and I don't know why. So if you like this video and think that was interesting, don't forget to leave your like, consider to subscribe for this channel and see you next time. Bye.